Harvard University is leading the way to green landscape with their new organic approach to landscape management. Composting is the heart of the program. So what we're in essence doing is mimicking nature. We're taking that material that's coming out of the landscape, we're then composting it and then putting it back in the proper places. This is one of the dining halls at Harvard where we serve over 900 meals a day. One of the high points here is that we compost all of our pre and post consumer waste. Let me show you. Well, in the old kitchen, this was the biggest water user that we had, this scrapping trough. Now, the food gets ground up and brought in a slurry out to an extractor point where it's deodorized and most of the liquid's extracted from the waste. 80% of that water comes back through the system. So we're saving water and we have the waste ready for compost. We're composting all of our organic waste, which we're diverting 400 tons of organic waste from going to um, off-campus composting facilities and we compost it in-house and we utilize these, these products into our program, which is it's really exciting. At the center of this program is the use of compost tea, a liquid solution made by steeping compost in water. What is really important is to have a brewmaster and we have Kieran Klein here, who is the Harvard brewmaster. Right now, we're dechlorinating the water before we put the organic compost into the medium. This is a fungally dominant compost. We're also mixing in a bit of a bacterially dominant compost. Finally, for diversity, we're utilizing a vermicompost. We're now inserting this pipe into the compost, which is actually an air diffuser, which also further helps to coax the organisms off of the compost and into the water solution. We're now going to add various foods for the beneficial organisms. Looks like we're getting a good brew here, Karen. There you have it, this is a compost tea. Bon appetit. Once brewed, the compost tea is then applied to the landscape. This is a good example of what we found uh, six weeks after starting our pilot project. This it would have been a core sample from the test plot. We have six to eight inches of root growth, and at this point would have not received any fertilizer, just compost teas. This is our control, which would have received you know, the standard high nitrogen fertilizer applications. So simply by encouraging the natural nutrient cycling systems, we've been able to get considerable uh, beneficial landscape results. But we're just a stepping stone. What we're looking for are the young kids who are working here on a lot of this research. You know, may perhaps we've provided a little pedestal which they can step up and take this a lot further. We need to really get people behind this, and it's all in the education aspect of it.